Hey guys, Tyler at uh, North, uh, North 40 in Coeur d'Alene. Um, we're doing a three-part series on Green Drake and we're gonna tie it today the inverted Green Drake adult here. It's a hair wing fly. Um, kind of one of my favorite flies. It looks great in the water, fishes very, very well. Um, the way it's tied in that inverted style it lands almost perfect every time on your cast, so it uh, fishes very, very well. Um, so let's go through our material list here, guys. Um, first, we're going to need uh, some deer here. I prefer deer over elk. Um, just is going to make that wing work for us a little bit better, compresses better. Olive bucktail for the body. Black bucktail for the actual tail of the fly. Here's your ice dub for the thorax. Uh, Whiting's bugger pack um, in Grizzly, and they have some smaller gauge sizes in here that'll work work good for this bigger hook. Um, and also, same thing in the olive. Uh, brown Uni Six Ot. And Dairiki's 270 size 8. It's a straight eye. And let's get into it. Alright guys, let's get into it here. So. When you start out, um, you kind of notice I've got my hook kind of at a downward angle here. That's that's on purpose. We want to be able to have a little bit of an angle back here so you can climb down the hook bend um, with your body material and also the tail. It's going to give that kind of that upward sweeping motion uh, when those mayflies are sitting in the water. It, it looks a lot more realistic that way. So go ahead and tie in about the midway point. We're going to coat the whole hook here with some thread and that's going to help us have a little bit of traction for our bucktail to, to stick down to the shank too so it's not slipping off. So we'll start out with our black bucktail. That's going to be for the actual tail of the fly. You don't need a whole lot. Sparse is, is probably better and we want oh about yay much and about a Shank, shank length for the actual tail. And again, go ahead and let it climb down around the bend of the hook here and come back up. And then we're going to use our olive bucktail for the, the body. And I like to use this bottom portion here, guys, for the, for the material because it, it compresses a little bit better and it's going to show our segments of that body better. So about yay much for the body. And then we're going to make our segments here, about five or six times around each segment. Making them somewhat equal. And if you noticed, I didn't let go of the body material or the, the olive bucktail. And that's for a good reason because when we get down to the bend here, it's going to make it a lot easier to clip and not have to come back later and try and separate out from the actual black bucktail, which is the tail material. So go ahead and snip that guy off. And then chase your segments back. You don't need to go over it a whole bunch. We already did that. Just chase it right back up to the front. And then we're going to invert the fly. Okay, next is going to be our dubbing for the thorax here. And we're just going to create a 
a ball right there, guys. And that's probably a bit much, so about, about like so. And again, we're not coming forward because we still have to put our wing in. All right, now it's time for the, the hackle. So again, we have our white grizzly and our olive grizzly. And as you see, we kind of have them paired together, cupping each other like that. And we've prepped a st you know, the stem here. We've taken some of our hackle fiber off. And that's so we can have a nice little tie-in point there. Get him tied in. And next will be our, our wing. So the deer here. What you want to make sure you guys do is get, a, get rid of all your underbelly fur. Clean it out nice and good. Go ahead and stack it. We want pretty pretty long wing on there, guys. It's going to go back to about the, the bend of the hook. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit more dubbing. I need to touch more there. Good. Now you can do your hackle. And tie him off right up at the eye there. Try not to trap too many fibers and then bring him back. off, clean them up a little bit. And then up here, careful, you don't stick yourself with the hook, but we're going to clip those butt ends nice and flush here. Go ahead and tie off. Alright, almost done. So I'll take it back out, flip them over, grab your hook, and we're going to coat the body with some head cement to give them a, a little bit more durable body there. Also, don't forget your thread. Now I would let this dry on the body and then come back another 10 or 15 minutes later and do another coat and then I'll just really make them nice and durable. Alright guys. That's it. There's your Green Drake, inverted green Drake, uh, hair wing parachute style. Thanks.